Uh, if you could just generally comment on the policing oppression around Extinction Rebellion uh, and the London, -wide, in particular, the London Wide Section 14 notice sold last night. So, so Sir Hal, if I could ask you. To Thanks, Chair. Thanks for the opportunity to, to, to do so. Um, so, as members will know, Extinction Rebellion um, protests started in London really on Sunday night. I think we're probably into day 10, although there was the fire, the fire engine uh, prank outside uh, Treasury uh, on the previous Thursday, I think. So we're now into day 10 uh, of this demonstration. Uh, we are 1,400 arrests and climbing. We have so far cleared protesters who were camped or locked on illegally in locations St. James's Park, Horse Guards Road, Trafalgar Square, Whitehall, Marsham Street, Lambeth Bridge, Westminster Bridge, Horsefree Road, London City Airport, Bank, Euston Road, New Scotland Yard and BBC at Portland Place. So uh, we have been gradually trying to clear London streets so that uh, London could go about its business. Uh, the last situation we had most recently was an encampment in Trafalgar Square and an encampment which is still in place uh, within uh, Vauxhall Pleasure Gardens in Lambeth. Uh, last night we issued a uh, Section 14 of the Public Order Act notice specifically, and I have to be very clear on this, the wording of it is specific, it says this is to do with Extinction Rebellion, colon, Autumn Rebellion or Autumn Uprising, which is their their terminology for the demonstration, saying that they now had to cease this demonstration across London. What we are not saying is that people cannot demonstrate across London, and indeed today there will be a number of demonstrations across London on a variety of different things that we will police as we normally do. We're also not saying to Extinction Rebellion or any other group that you cannot protest on climate change, which is clearly a massive issue of public concern. And we are not even saying to Extinction Rebellion, you cannot protest again in future. What we are saying is, in relation to this demonstration, it must now cease. It's been going on for 10 days. As I say, we've arrested over 1,400 people. Last time this happened in London, it cost the Metropolitan Police over £16 million. It will be more this time, we believe, because it's gone on a bit longer and we've used more mutual aid. We are disrupting BCU activity. We are pulling hundreds of officers a day away from the, te the 12 territorial BCUs in London, putting huge strain on our officers. I spoke to some officers on mutual aid last night on Lambeth Bridge who'd been working 18 hours that day. We simply cannot allow this to continue when the demonstration is illegal, which it is. So we have made moves to curtail the demonstration. Trafalgar Square is now closed uh, to the demonstration and is cleared uh, of the demonstration. We have continually, and you will, members will see police officers on the streets dressed with blue tabards. These are protest liaison officers. And we continually try to reach out to Extinction Rebellion to try and agree with them a lawful protest that they can continue with. They have not engaged with that so far. I would repeat again this morning, if Extinction Rebellion wish to get in touch with us and talk about mounting lawful demonstrations, we will very happily engage with them. But what we can't do is continue... What we cannot continue to do is to police an unlawful demonstration. I, I accept that 99.9% .9 has been perfectly peaceful, possibly even more than that. But that is not to say that it is lawful. It is an unlawful demonstration, and it has to cease now. That's where we are. Thank you for those comments, Sir House. Um, Deputy Mayor, do you have anything to add to what Sir House has said? I think the De Deputy Commissioner has been very clear around the complexity and the burden that the protests and the demonstrations have uh, placed on the Metropolitan Police over the last eight, nine, ten days. This is a really complicated uh, matter. The Mayor is really clear that we are in a position of climate emergency and we need to take this incredibly seriously and we respect and uh, support the right to lawful and peaceful protest. Really clear about that. And we are also respect the right of the, of the Metropolitan Police to take operational decisions to keep London moving and to keep, um, to keep London safe and the community protected.
Thank you. Thank you. Um, questions from committee members? Sylvia Berry. Thank you very much, Chair. Um, so, yeah, you've outlined uh, your reasons um, for imposing Section 14 order over the entire city and the City of London area as well. Was this proportionate to an immediate risk from these protests? And, and why was it put on at 9pm at very short notice? The short answer to you is, is it proportionate? Yes. It is, I think I've outlined why it's proportionate. Um, so we believe it is proportionate. Why was it put on at 9 o'clock at night? Uh, we, it was put on, fol on following lengthy discussions within uh, the Metropolitan Police uh, and with partners around it. We had actually spoken to, again, I think over the previous 48 hours to say, look, we need to clear Trafalgar Square. And a good number did clear Trafalgar Square and went to uh, the uh, Pleasure Gardens in Vauxhall, which we uh, acknowledged they did, they did that, and Lambeth Council were uh, accepting of that uh, for a while. But we also made it clear to Extinction Rebellion, as I say, through our protest liaison, that we expected Trafalgar Square to be cleared. And that's, when we, that's why we went ahead and cleared it and issued, issued the order. Nine o'clock at night, we, we weren't... Uh, I don't think we were being unreasonable because we were talking to them for 48 hours beforehand saying, look, this needs to be clear. We can't block Trafalgar Square any longer. And they knew that. So... You described the demonstration as illegal, um, and you've also said that at Trafalgar Square people were illegally locked on, but for days running up to this, police officers have been saying to protesters, in order to protest legally, go to Trafalgar Square, and then at half an hour's notice, you removed that. So by saying that the protest in Trafalgar Square was illegal, it wasn't illegal until you imposed this order last night. Is, is that not correct? I mean, people have a right to peacefully protest up until the point at which you issue this order. So you, you made it illegal at very short notice. Is that, is that not correct? No, and, I don't believe it is correct. So uh, you, know, you, you can quite happily say, well, the order went into place, so therefore it was done very, very quickly. Well, it has to go in at a certain time. But there were discussions in days leading up to that with Extinction Rebellion through a, a wide range of, of, of contacts to say, look, we need you to move from Trafalgar Square. And a good many did move, move from, from Trafalgar Square. There has to come a time when we put in place an order which makes it illegal for them to stay there any longer. And, and I think I, I would characterise our behaviour up, up, up until this point in time as completely reasonable and proportionate. I think we've been sensible throughout. We've, we've had to clear certain parts of London and certain roads to allow London to go about its it's, it's business and keep the city moving. We put forward Trafalgar Square. We facilitated that for a couple of days. But it was always made clear that, that you can't stay there forever. And we have never signed up to 14 days. Never. That is a view from Extinction Rebellion, which they're perfectly entitled to do, to say we're going we're to protest for 14 days. But we are also entitled to say, right, that enough is enough. We've looked at a variety of things, and it's now time to call that to, to a close at Trafalgar Square. That's what we did. OK, so a few more short questions. Um, I mean, this is just, just, I've got a couple more on. Yeah, sorry. Um, the last one, and then we'll move on. Yeah, yeah, so this is a blanket ban across the whole city. So can I just ask at what level this was signed off? Did the commissioner, the deputy mayor, or the mayor know in advance? Did you ask the Home Secretary um, about imposing what is effectively a ban? Trafalgar Square's TFL land, was this at the mayor's request? You'd have to ask the Deputy Mayor some of those questions, but just to be clear, this is an operational police decision taken by operational police officers. The person who issued the order, I believe, was DAC Lawrence Taylor. He discussed it with me earlier yesterday, and I approved the action. And I discussed it last night with the Commissioner, who was fully behind the action as well. We've been very clear as a command team over the last week that we have to give reasonable time. We have to be reasonable and sensible and continue engaging with Extinction Rebellion. But I have to go back to the, the issue. It, it, it's fine to say, yes, Trafalgar Square was, was okay, they could go there. But what was happening yesterday, I mean, over 100 people are arrested yesterday in bank. 
So we can't have a situation where people are encamping in the middle of London and issuing out from there, carrying out unlawful actions and unlawful protests, breaking the law, and then going back there at night having a meeting and then deciding where they're going to go again the following day. That, that simply is not acceptable in a society governed by law. And we have to put an end to that. I think that's what we've done in a reasonable fashion within the law. Thank you. Deputy Mayor, do you... No, 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 you've heard your say. Right. <laughs> Could I, ask, I do more, have further questions. Two more questions. Short. A brief question from you, Assembly Member Hall, Janet Arnold, and then we move on.